Well, we are in the heart of the spring severe weather season, and the popular term Tornado Alley is back up for debate. AccuWeather's Bill Waddell is live in Bell County, Texas. Bill, experts say the threat zone is evolving and putting even more at risk. That's right, Melissa and Jeff. Uh, people in this community are still cleaning up from that EF3 tornado that hit two weeks ago. Nearly two dozen people were hurt in that storm. And this area is in the south end of what most people would consider to be Tornado Alley. It's a term that came from meteorologists who were studying severe weather with a research paper that was published back in 1952. Now the classic tornado alley seen here in orange stretched from Texas all the way up to Nebraska and South Dakota. This zone in red shows a big shift east in reported tornadoes in recent years. AccuWeather lead long range forecaster Paul Pastelock says the worsening drought in the southwest is likely a big factor behind these changes. There's been a long term drought going on across the southwest. Uh, it's been going on since 2000. And what that does is a tremendous amount of heat builds up, not only at the low levels, but the mid levels of the atmosphere. And that kind of causes what we call a cap on the development of tornadic activity. So that's kind of had some contribution to lowering the tornado output in parts of the plains. On average, 1,200 tornadoes happen in the United States every year. They can touch down in any state just about any time of year during the right conditions. Now, you can read our team's in-depth report on this evolving and shifting tornado alley right now. That's on AccuWeather.com and on the AccuWeather app. And, Melissa, coming up in our next hour, we'll have more information on what our team's been working on looking at the statistical peak for tornadoes when the most touch down the United States. That's actually coming up right around the corner. We'll have that in our next hour. Really interesting information, Bill. Thank you. Hey, AccuWeather viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And you can also click on any of the videos here to stay up to date on the latest weather news. Thanks for watching.